<laughs> Let's try that again. Hoo-y. Aloha. Welcome back to Hula. This is Halau na Pua Hala Kunoi Kekai. My name is Kumu Kanoi, and this is my trusty assistant, my son, Ima Kalania Williams. And we're excited. Uh, I can't believe it. It's midway through May, and we are learning the mele of Brother Is. And yeah, it's a beautiful day. So I think it's time. Are we ready? It's time. Welcome back. We're going to start our class today as we start every Saturday hula uh, with our chants and prayers. Of course, the first one that we always do is Hawaii Pono I. Now our state anthem, but originally our nation's anthem, written by King David Kalakaua and Hiram Bingham. So let's do all three verses and the hui or chorus, which you see here. Not Hiram Bingham. Thank you. He always, thank you for catching me. Henry Berger. Okay, David Kalakaua and Henry Berger. Sorry, Henry. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Hawaii i pono i pa. Hawaii i pono i na na i ko mo i kala i a i i te a i i. Makua la nie kame ha me ha e na kawa e ba e ha i he ha ba i i po na i na na i na mi i. Na pu a mu li po na po ti i ma ku a la ni e ka me ha me ha e na ka wa e pa le ne ti he. for catching me. I was just checking to make sure you were paying attention. <laughs> no, you were not. No, you're right. I made a mistake. Okay. Yeah. The next thing coming up is going to be our Oli Aloha before we um, do our Oli Aloha. We want to say Aloha to all of you who are joining us live. So I know I saw the Pashon Ohana. Aloha to the Pashons joining us from Makiki. Angelica in Germany. Rai Moana joining us from Palani or France. Carol Ann Buckley, aloha no. Uh, we have a friend, Elise, Elise Snod McNally in Vero Beach, Florida. Aloha. Uh, Barbara joining us from Kailua Kona. Regina, aloha no in Germany. Yvonne in Florida. Fern all the way from the, the what is it, the, the Longhorn, Lone Star, Lone Star State, Texas. Inger joining us from right over in the YLI area on this very island. We do have some people right here joining us. Tam from Virginia, Patricia from Massachusetts, Angelica, Germany. 
Jamie from San Diego, Monica from, where's Monica from? Do you remember? Hungary, Tomoko joining us from Japan, Lupita from Mexico, Doris from Austria. Oh my gosh, there's so many. I'm going to have to catch up with some of you via the comments later. If we didn't get to you, I promise I'll say hello a little bit later after Hula is Pau. But it's time now to say aloha to one another. Feel free to greet one another in the comments. But let's do our Oli Aloha, written, of course, by our Kumu, Pilahi Paki. She spells out the word aloha through her chant and tells us how to act Act with aloha. Actions of aloha right here. Okay? So here we go. Oli aloha. Oh, yeah, we're going to end with our hand. Thank you. Good reminder. Use your right hand at the end. Oli aloha. Pa. seat can you help me turn off that fan right there before we have a seat so for our prayers we always have a seat down um my kumu le momi e maldonado always had us do our prayers seated so we will follow suit that way come this way a little bit we want to be able to see you okay so we're gonna do our prayers right now the first one that we're going to do today is called the hawaiian doxology also known as ho'o nani Okay, now this one, thank you, is by Hiram Bingham and Kumu Haonani Bernardino. So we'll do two verses, starting with Ho'onani Pa. Ho'onani kamakuhama Kekeikime kauhane no Keakuhamo Oh, oh, my kaipu. for that our second prayer that we do is a little simpler actually and it's a call and response done in the kahuahua style which means there's one person who is the alaka'i or the leader and then there's one person who's the male ho'opili or the one who follows Sorry. so we're going to do ekea kua if you would like to lead join me and if you would like to follow join ims okay ekea kua pa E ke akua, e ke akua, mahalo no, mahalo no, mahalo ya oi, mahalo ya oi, no ke ya la, no ke ya la, amene, 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 amene. Mahalo. The end of that chant says, Mahalo no keiala. Thank you so much for today. And it is a beautiful day. I don't know if you got to see the view at the beginning of our class. It's a beautiful day here in mm. Nu'uanu Valley. Um, but I wanted to ask you, Pehea keanila. That question, Pehea keanila, means how is the weather? So, Pehea keanila mm. today. Uh, kind of. Oh, malu, malu. That's right. Oh, malu, malu. So if we wanted to fill in the sentence, it says, He la, oh, malu, malu, ke ia. And what else? Nice and loud? Because like, 
Menelaus. Yeah, malie also means calm. Yeah, so hela o malu malu a malie ke ia manu uanu ne. So here in uanu, it's a calm and cloudy day. So we want to ask you, pehea kianila mako hale or mako aina, where you live in your land, where you live, because we have people joining us obviously from. All over the world so cool so pehea kianila how is the weather you can always answer hey la blank kia or if it's not a la perhaps it's a po a night time for you hey po malie or hey po o malu malu or hey po something like that okay so thank you uh now we would like the sun to come out a little bit more because it's a little cloudy here so we're going to move on to our next chant which is e ala e written by puolani kanako ole and it tells us to rise up the sun we're going to do a little pattern with our clapping so make your hands in a cup like two little shells and we're going to cup them together upoho upoho and then pa you're gonna slap them flat yes that's our pattern let's start it ready go upoho upoho pa'i Upoho upoho kai e ala e e ala e kala i kahi kina i kamuana kamuana honu pi i kaleva kaleva nu u i kahi kina ayakala e ala e and stop right there. We always do this chant three times. On this second time, I want us to do some descriptive hand movements so that we can remember what we're chanting about. So this time, see if you can follow our hand mo movements while we do the chant. <laughs> Ready? E ala e means wake up. Ready? E ala e pa. E ala e the sun. Kala i kahi kina i kamuana kamuana honu pi i kaleva kaleva nu u i kahi kina ai akala wake up e ala e very good now sometimes with our keiki we like to mix those two things together yeah. so we'll do two upohos and then we're going to do the motion that goes with the word so it's kind of like this e ala e which means wake up sun kala i kahi kina hikina means the east okay so just do your best follow along if you can ready e ala e with the upoho and the hand motions pa E ala e kala i kahi kina i kamuana kamuana ho ho nu pi i kaleva kaleva nu u i kahi kina ai akala e ala e very good sometimes i want to go i know right <laughs> <laughs> Great job. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Okay, our next chant is going to help us to whew, focus. Come back. We're at hula. We're not playing games. Okay. We got a good teaching moment. Oh, we have a good teaching moment. Okay, yeah. what is it? We got some language questions coming. Ooh, language questions. Okay. Very good. Okay, we have some questions. I love when you folks ask questions. So let's see what questions we have. Sorry, my camera is over here, but my questions are over there. Hey, la wa ke ia. Alexa says it is a rainy day in yeah. Manoa. Okay. And she follows up with this one, which is a good teaching moment. Okay. Yeah. It's rainy in Manoa. Did I write that correctly? Okay. So, can you go back to the other one? Is that yeah. possible? Okay. So, Alexa says, He la wa ke ia Manoa. The only thing that's missing here is when we take, um, when we talk about a place, we need a little marker. Mm. So the marker tells us, oh, this is a place coming up, okay? So the marker that you can use, there's two that we mostly use. It's E, the letter I, or Ma. So you're gonna put that right after ke ia. So you're gonna do he la ua ke ia. This is a rainy day. And then you would do I ma noa or ma ma noa. Sometimes you might think that's a little hard to say, but Hawaiians actually love when you duplicate syllables. So I probably would hear mama noa, which sounds kind of funny, but Hawaiians loved, it was like Hawaiian rap. He la ua ke ia mama noa. <laughs> kind of fun, right? So oh mama noa we hear quite often. I mama noa works 
totally fine too, but it's not as fun to say, <laughs> right? So for us here, we would say, hey la o malu malu ke ia manu uanu or inu uanu. And some of you might say i mania in Germany, i hunakalia. Is that how we say hungry? You have to remind me. Mm. Anyways. So, hela ua ke ia ma ma noa. Mahalo for that, Alexa and uh, Zoe and Stella. Oh. Awesome. Okay, let's move on to a whole mind at this time to focus us back. What are we here for? Hula. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ready? A whole mind three times. Pa. E ho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na a me a una no e a o na me le e ho o mai e ho o mai e ho o mai e ho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na a me a una no e a o na three times yeah sometimes I go into a trance and I can't keep track of how many times so I'm good thing we have a young brain here to keep us on track <laughs> okay at this time we're going to move on to our ipu so go and grab your ipu or whatever you're using to approximate an ipu today um, we do have an ipu class coming up um, and that class is called ile akahula ikoho o pa'a. Um, that is a proverb that says that the one who has the most fun in the hula is actually the ho'opa'a, yeah. the one who is keeping the beat. So that's going to be coming up on May 31st. If you're interested in that, check out our website on our blog. You'll see all the information about how you can register for that Zoom class and um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Probably best for beginning to intermediate um, uh, players, I guess you could say, of the ipu. If you have had a ton of experience using ipu, um, this might not be the right class for you because we're not going to go into um, like a lot of choreography or um, a ton of chanting and playing, but really more the basics of how to play the ipu and use it to have a little bit of fun. Okay, so that's that. Pow commercial. Now, <laughs> let's. In the oh, what's that? Links in the comments. Oh, link is in the comments, okay? Links in the comments. I, I gotta learn all of this lingo. <laughs> link in the comment, hit the bell to subscribe. Ding, okay. Anyway. <laughs> like. Let's make our ipu. This is the mele that was taught to me at Kamehameha schools, not because I attended there. This guy did, and the guy behind the camera did, but I went to Maka i Kai 95. Thank you very much. Okay, mele, ipu, heke, ole. We're going to make our ipu. Ready? Okay. Pa. Hanava ika ipu heke ole. Scoop it out. Ika ipu heke ole. Sand it. Hanava ika ipu heke ole. Dip it in the ocean. Ika papa hana no eo. Let's make another one. Hanava ika ipu heke ole. Scoop. Ika ipu heke ole. Sand. Hanava ika ipu heke ole. Ika papa hana no eo. Very good. Ooh, uh, we're singing loud today, yeah? Huh? Our neighbors must think, wow, what's going on? Oh, you have a question. What is your question, sir? What would sir? the song be for uh, Ipu Heke? That's a good question. What would the song be? You know, when I learned this song, it wasn't actually only for Ipu, but we we only made Ipu Heke Ole. We didn't make an Ipu Heke. But you know what else we made? We made a nose flute out of bamboo. Oh, and we did, Hanava Ika Ohe Hanu Ihu. So maybe next week we'll come up with a verse for Ipuheke. How's that? Yay. Okay, very good. <laughs> yeah, this one is for Ipuheke Ole, which is the one without the head. That's a good question. Thank you. Okay, let's practice our beats. So 
This is not Beats by Dre. This is Beats by Ibu. Okay, so the first beat that we have is Kaeke Loloi. Can you give us a little rattle on the side? This is actually a quite advanced technique. So if you're brand new to Ibu, don't worry if this feels awkward to you. Just alternating back and forth from the thumb and the pinky, kind of like a seesaw. Okay, now the pa is going to be a cupped hand and it's going to go U plus a te. Can you make that pattern over and over? Over and over oh, with us four times. One, two, ready. Go. Te, u, te, u, te, and stop. Last time. Good. The next one is called Kahela. It's a double beat. U, te, te. Let's try that four times. Ready? Go. Very good. The last one is called Cool Cool. Cool Cool Crazy or Cool Cool Beat. The Cool Cool Beat goes U, 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 te, te. Try it with us four times. Yeah. Ready? Set. Here we go. And Very good. A little bit of patterns for you this morning. Get your brain going in case you didn't have your coffee yet. We're going to have a pa, kahela, a pa, kahela, a pa, kahela, and cuckoo. Okay? Good luck. One, two, ready, go. A pa, kahela, and a pa, kahela. Okay, another pattern. Hmm, let's do this one. Kahela, 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 pa, pa, kahela, kuku. Got it? Kahela, 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 pa, pa, kahela, kuku. You got it. One, two, ready, go. Kahela, 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 and a pa, a pa, kahela, and kuku. Okay, now you can see why the ho'opa has the most fun because yeah. your brain has to work for it a little bit. We're gonna do a really, really long one. I might mess up, you might mess up, we all might mess up. It's okay, just have fun I with it. Not. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Listen carefully. Okay. Pa kahela kahela pa. That's like a sandwich, yeah, with I the pa like bread and the kahela that. filling. Okay, that first part again was pa kahela kahela pa. Second part, flip it inside out. Kahela, pa, pa, kahela. Okay. Third part. Hello. <laughs> pa, kahela, kuku. So you get all three beats. Okay. Fourth beat. Fourth section is going to be pa, kahela, pa, kahela. Easy. Easy? I'm going to repeat it one more time for the people in the back. Okay. Pa, kahela, kahela, pa. That's the first part. Okay. Kahela, pa, pa, kahela. <laughs> Second part. Now the third part goes, pa, kahela, kuku. Mm. And the fourth part goes, pa, kahela, pa, kahela. Okay. okay, try and keep those chunks in your head. Okay, Are you ready? Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> ready, set, sandwich, go. Pa, kahela, kahela, and a pa. Kahela, pa, pa, kahela. Mistake. That's pretty I good. Made mistakes. I made zero mistakes. I made zero <laughs> mistakes. All right, let's zero go. minus one. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna do some standing basics right now. So if you would like to continue working with Ipu um, and not do the standing basics, that's up to you. But Eames is gonna stand. You got no choice, and I'm gonna sit. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry. We're just a little cuckoo crazy this morning. There's an airplane going. We got some uh, construction. Oh, helicopter. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, so there, there's your head, there's your head. Can you come forward a little bit? Okay, so our basics that we're gonna need this week for our choreography are the same ones that we did last week. So hopefully we still have those slides. The first step that we're going to do, do we have those slides? Yep. Okay, which is the first step that we're gonna I'm looking at the slides to see. Okay, kaholo and kao. So let's start with the kaholo, because that is the most basic step. And um, hands on your waist is good. Uh, now, Eames has a perfect shirt to show you that the fingers on the waist should be together and not spread wide. So sh show me spider hands. No spider hands. That's what we want to see. Thumbs in the back, fingers to the front. And we're gonna start with the kaholo step. Ready? Kaholo, going right and left. Kaholo, right. Kaholo, 
Kaholo left, Kaholo right, Kaholo left, Kaholo sway, right, left. Keep it going. Now notice that his feet are flat, his heels are not lifting, his toes are not wiggling, and he even has a nice smile on his face. <laughs> good very good do you notice a little delay over there so if that messes you up don't look at that okay the next step that you're gonna look at is dun 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 dun, dun. what's the next slide okay thank you <laughs> lele and hella let's work on the hella first for the hella the heels are gonna start touching together toes slightly turned out at an angle knees are bent and then first the right foot is gonna come out towards its 45 degree angle, flat to the ground. All the way, toes and heels, everything touching. Bring that foot back together so heels are touching. Then the left foot is gonna go out to the opposite angle. Again, flat foot, okay? And then you do that over and over and over. Ready? Hella to the right, here we go. Right, hella left, hella right, hella left. Hella right, hella left, hella right, and left. Last week we did the lele walking step and we did imua and ihope. So we're gonna do that again, walking forward and back, and then I'm gonna show you something brand, brand new. So hands on your waist. Let's lele ready, lele imua. Right, left, oh sorry, let's go forward and four and four. I, we watch Rep Rep Linger and I kind of got the da, 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 da. Okay, so let's le, 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 four times and then you hope it four times. Okay, ready? Lele imua four steps. Going right, left, right, and back. Right, left, right, imua forward. Going right, left, right, you hope it back. Right, left, right. And stop. Now, now in the, the choreography, choreography of the first verse, we are going to get two steps step forward and two steps back. back. That is what Eames wanted to show you. So we're gonna do just lele imua two times, lele uhope two times, okay? So stand at the back of the carpet so that they can actually see where you're stepping. Lele imua two times and hope back. Imua two times, hope back, and stop. Very good. Okay, so now I wanna show you one more lele that we're going to need for this week's choreography. This is called the lele ka'apuni. And the lele ka'apuni is gonna go around in a circle. So let's just try lele in place, which kinda of looks like a ka'o, but let's step four times in place. Here we go, step left, sorry, right, left. Sorry, we're gonna go right first. Ready, set, my fault. Here we go, step right and left and right and left. Did I forget to mention we are mirroring you? So this is gonna be your right side. Okay, try one more time. Yeah, I, I messed that up. Ready, set, lele in place step. Right and left and right and left. So now, ka'o. Yeah, exactly. So now, instead of just stepping in place, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that first right step and we're gonna actually turn this way, turn towards the right wall. Okay, so let's just do that. So ready, step, right. Yeah, then the left step, we're actually gonna turn away from the camera or the computer or the iPad, whatever you're watching. Step on the left foot, turn away. Then you're gonna step right, turn towards the opposite wall, and then step left, turn back to the front. Yeah, we have um, a, the Vavai cam. Can we try that one? Is it? A, good okay we'll move forward just a little bit so you can see the d -d 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 details okay so here we go we're gonna step four times starting with the right foot and it's kind of gonna go behind you okay ready set here we go step right step left step right step left okay and then you come back to the front of course okay let's try that one more time with the vavai cam who kumu needs a pedicure okay bend your knees ready set here we go, step right, step left, step right, step left. This time we're gonna try it, try, hopefully we're not getting too dizzy, but we're gonna try and move our hips a little bit. Try not to get so stiff, okay? So bend your knees, 
Lele Ka'apuni stepping around, step right, sway left, sway right, and left. Very good. Oh, that was a cute little sway. I like that. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so let's come back up here. So if I were to call Lele Ka'apuni, you're going to go this way, okay? Now, there is another way to do Lele Ka'apuni, which we won't do today, but you can actually, instead of stepping back on the right foot, you can actually step this way and go around the opposite direction but don't worry about that right now we'll do that another week okay so this one is going to be your lele ka'apuni let's try the steps that we know so far hands on your waist fingers together thumbs to the back bend your knees ready set kaholo first to the right two three kaholo left kao let's sway in place kao and kao and kao and kaholo to the right right two three tap Lele imua four times. Step forward. One, two, three. Lele hope back four times. Step right and left and right. Kaholo to the right. Kaholo to the right. And lele kaapuni stepping around. Step right. Step left. Step right. Step kaholo to the right. Two, three, and left. Very good. Okay. Was that all of our steps that we needed? Okay, that's all of the steps. We did hella. Oh, we didn't practice hella right now, but you did a good demo of hella. I think they got hella. You guys remember hella, right? And left. As long as you got right and left. <laughs> oh my gosh, this kumu is crazy today. Oh, poopule. Okay, so I'm going to put away our ipu for now by Hina Girl. Okay, we are going to dive into our choreography for our mele, Pupu o ni'i ho. So here are our lyrics. Pupu o ni'i ho was composed by Mary Pula'a Robbins. And I actually know two melodies to this mele. I meant to mention that last week. Some of you might have heard the one that goes, Pupu o ni'i ho, oh hey a o e ho i ke a e oi, ai ko ni. Have you heard that melody before? No. Okay, everybody's saying, nope, haven't heard it. Uh, anyways, this melody that um, we are learning uh, goes, pu pu o ni ha u a u he a o e ho i ke a e o e a i ko u na ni. Also, beautiful melody. Now, Oh, Eames likes this one better. This is the melody that was sung by Brother Is, um, and his mom was from Niiho. I've also heard this melody sung by Darlene Ahuna and um, an artist named Keale. So I'm going to say that this is the Niihauin melody. And then the other one, I don't know where it came from, but it sure is pretty, don't you think? Anyways, okay. We're going to do the Brother Is melody and i did put a link to his performance of this at ohiki lolo ranch which is out here um on the west side of the island and there's just a beautiful video of him so check that out in the discussion of this this video event okay it's there uh let's do a quick review you want to sit down for the review okay all right so um, your vamp is going to be a side front so it's going to go from the side to the front and from the side to the front and there's an extra ka'o right and left so there's going to be every time you get that that vamp or that break between there's two kaholos and a two ka'o so let's try it okay so hands out to the side we're going to kaholo towards our elbow ready set kaholo to the da di da 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 ka'o first and then Pupu o. So you notice that the, the verse is going to start during your ka'o. So if you're one of those fabulous people that likes to call out the verses, the mea kahea, then you have to do it on the kaholo, not on the ka'o. Because if you kahea on the ka'o, the musicians left you behind. They're probably singing ha'ina, get it done with. Okay, so ready? You're going to kaholo. Here we go. And ba da 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 da. You say pupu and then you smile. Pupu o ni ho. Now, pupu doesn't mean a little snack, pupu pups, but pupu means shells. So for our shells, we're going to make that same cupped hand, just like we did for the upoho, 
But instead of hitting them together, we're going to place them right down here at hip level. You're going to go show those shiny shells. One, two, three. Did you folks learn? Poo, poo, he knew, he knew. Same kind of idea. So, poo, poo, oh, ni, ho. Oh, he, oh, oh, means where are you? You're going to search. So, your right hand stays right where it was. Uh, maybe lift a little bit. And your left hand is going to go over your eyes, searching to the side. Oh, he, oh, oh, where are you? You're going to point towards that 45 degree angle and then point towards a 45 degree angle. Okay, so let's try poo poo o ni e ho searching. Ah uh, he uh, oh, 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 other side. Ho i ke a e o e. Ho i ke a e o e means show us show us. Yeah. Ike means to see, ho ike means to show or to show off. Ho i ke a e o a i ko your nani or your beauty you're gonna come straight across your chest you're gonna do like a body motion down okay then you vamp ba da 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 let's try the whole verse poo poo ka o first just the hands poo poo o ni i ha where you stay a u he a o we show us your beauty. Ho i ke a e o e a i ko una ni. Okay, so we're going to start with the vamp. It's going to be ka holo to the right, so you can see my feet now. Holo to the right and left. Here's your ka o sway two times. Ka holo. Pu pu o ni i ha u a u. Step forward two times. Oh, way and back two times. Now, holo. Ho i ke a e o e. A i ko u anani. My feet are ready to go for the hella, so we're gonna hella right and left. Ka holo da di da di da. Let's try that whole verse again. Pu pu ka o. Pu pu o ni i how searching. A u he a o we step back. Ho i ke a e o e hella a i ko una ni. Okay, let's try that much with the music. You must come join me, and we're gonna do pu pu o ni i ho verse number one. You like this one? Some of my students have noticed we finally did a song for Niiho. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting. So, Kian, I'm glad that you are excited for Pupu Niiho. We are too. Where is it? Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay. No, my speaker's not ready. My, my speaker took a break. Talk too long. You ready? Follow. Side. Front. Pu pu ka o, pu pu o down up down searching step forward for two and back for two, open cross. Hello, here's your back. Follow that hand. Pu 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 o ni where are you? song does talk about the shells of Ni'ihau. Wait, come stand on the side of it. Okay. Um, it talks about the shells of Ni'ihau, but as in most Hawaiian songs, I think that there's a kauna or a deeper hidden meaning. So I think from looking at the words to this, that Mary Robbins, who wrote this, was dedicating this song to a person, maybe a friend, maybe a love, who knows, um, but a person from Ni'ihau, and she was calling that person Pupu o Ni'ihau, right? It's not that she was literally looking in the sand trying to find little shells. That's what you were thinking? Well, it could be, but let's look at the second verse, and I'll tell you why. Maybe she was looking for the shells for her friend or with her friend. 
This is true. This, this is, is why, why I love Hawaii Mele, because we can make up all of these stories, these backstories, even if they're not what the composer had in mind. It's all valid. That's what I love about Kauna. So here's verse number two. Hena nihie hie o ikela kela. So henani means a beauty or someone who is handsome or it can be beautiful or handsome. We use the same word henani. Hie hie means to be proud or noble. Okay, so henani hie hie. Usually we're describing someone who looks real good. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, kela kela means that they are held on high. Like everybody thinks so highly of them. They think they're the best, the top, the most popular. Popular. Okay, anyways. Usually, that phrase is not going to be talking about an inanimate object like a shell or a or a place. It's usually going to be talking about a person. So, mm, that's a clue. maybe, maybe. <laughs> so, after your two kaos of the of the um vamp, can you join me? Okay. So, hena ni hie hie. You're gonna do a half body motion just like we did at the end of the first verse, but your right hand is gonna continue right into your small of your waist. <laughs> yeah, and you're gonna look over your shoulder to the left. Because hie hie means proud or noble. So you're going to make that proud stance like, uh-huh, I know, I look good. Okay, ready? Lift your hands up. Hena ni hie hie o i kela. Kela, kela, remember, it means on high. So this hand that's across your chest is going to lift up above your head level, and your right hand is going to go to your chest. We're going to switch this four times. One, switch. Two. Switch, three, switch, last time, four. Okay, so you're going to get four of those. Let's go from hey, nani, a beauty. Ready? Or uh, a handsome. Hey, nani, hie, hie, noble. Oh, we, kela, lift it up. Kela, and three, and four. Okay, I know that's a little bit tricky, but you're going to get it. Don't worry about it. Okay, so. It is a true beauty, so noble, and very, very popular. One, and two, and three, and four. Yeah, think of it as like we lift you up on a pedestal. You're like, wow, wow, you're so cool. You got all the likes and the subscribers on YouTube. Yeah. Okay, ready? Henani hie hie. Ready, stretching up, go. Henani hie hie. Oh, we kela kela. Nice. Okay. Let's add the feet for that. Let's move back a little bit so that they can see our feet. It's going to be the same kaholo that we started with, and then it's going to go into lele. But instead of going forward and back, we're going to do that turning around one. Watch how this goes. Okay. Hey, nani. Ready. Ka o to the right. Hey, nani. Hie, hie, look left. Oh, we can step right, step left, step right, step left. That's it. How did you do? Bad? First time, no problem. Try again, okay? Here's a tip. For your oi kela kela, even though when we're facing to the front, it goes to the side, to the side, to the side, to the side. When you're walking around in the circle, your left hand is actually going to point towards us, towards the camera. The next one is going to point away from us, directly away from us. The third one is also going to point directly away from us, towards the back. And then the last one is going to point back towards us. It's not all about us, but right now it's about us. Point to us, away, away, and to. Okay? Let's go from the ka'o. Ready? Ka'o. Right. He na ni hie hie. Oh, we kill us and away and away and us. Yeah. Oi, kela, kela. That's us. Yeah. Just kidding. Okay. Let's go from the kaholo vamp before. So let's lead into it. Ready and holo. Da, be, da, be, da, be, da, be, da. He, nani, kao. First, right, and left. He, nani, he, he, he. Oh, we kela 
us and you and you and us. Yeah? How was that? Real bad? Give me all the mad face emoji if you need help, okay? Otherwise, love, okay? It says, the greatest desire of my heart. Now, an interesting fact, the word pu'uvai means heart, but pu'uvai is also the main city or town on the island of Ni'ihau. So, methinks that uh, Mary Robbins used this because the person that she's talking about, the one who so nani kie, kie, hie, oi, kela, kela, is from pu'uvai, the town of pu'uvai. A lot of times in Ni'ihau songs, you'll hear the word pu'uvai, and they mean they have big hearts, but they're also from Pu'uvai. Sorry. Okay. Ka'i'i'ni'inu'i'i. <laughs> so after you do oi kela 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 kela. Okay. Then you're going to bring your hand in to your heart. You're going to roll around and give it out. So that's the heart, Pu'uvai. And then Pu'uvai, the place, you're going to switch and you're going to push down the place. That's going to be your hella hella at the end. Yep, just like in another song, he's noticing that I only have like five motions I just repeat over and over. Okay, let's, oh, question. What is our question of the moment? Dun, 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 dun. Elbow up straight or diagonal, I think is what you're asking. Um, for oi kela kela, is that what you're asking? You know what, let me dance it and then I'll, I'll answer that question. Here, this is definitely elbow up. Oh, we can. And then this one is at an angle. So this one is going to be up, and it continues the line right here. It's not straight this way, but it's here. One, two, three, and four. Yeah, so you're continuing the line from the elbow all the way up to the fingertips. And the reason for that is it makes it look higher. Yeah? See, it, look at this line. It looks so tall. Versus this, it's kind of like, oh, stunted. Okay, like that. Oh, and then if you look past your hands, it even looks better. And then all the necks, I mean, all the chins go away. Bye, chin. Bye, chin. Okay, let's start from the kaholo. I hope what's that, that was what you're answering, Michelle. If you have um, more questions, let me know. On the lele. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Okay, uh, and then we come down. Oh, okay. When you do your bringing it in, you do have to lift the elbow, though, when you do your heart. and Sorry, when you roll and give it out, then you have to lift the elbow up and then switch again, elbow up. Okay, so I hope that wasn't too confusing. On the lele, you get to angle the elbow, and then the rest of it, you have to lift it up straight so that we don't have excess baggage down here. Okay, all right. Let's try from the... Um, the vamp before. Ready, vamp. Da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ka o two times. He nani, he nani, he e he e o we kela kela ka i i ni nu i i ya o ku upu uvai and hella. Your hands are right in the place to do the vamp. Let's try again. Ka o two times. Ready and he na ni hi e hi e o we kela kela ka i i ni nu i i ya o ku upu uva i and vampy dampy dampa dampy dung. Dampy, dampy. You know, I just realized we have plenty of time on the ka'i'ini. So let's add a roll. One, two, three, four. My little assistant choreographer said, yeah, that's what he would have done too. So, okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, 9.50 already? Are you kidding me? All right. Okay, ready? First two. Oh, Ike, Ae, Oe. Are you ready for that? Red, bam, towards the elbow. Ka'o two times. He, Nani. He, Nani, Hie, Hie. Walking around, Kela, Kela. Kela, Kela. Ka, 
with my directions so we're going to come here and then instead of going right back out we're going to come in and here's that roll still on this side okay okay we're going to try all the way from the beginning first and second verse and then we have to do a little bit more of hey hawaii before we end today and then throw in some poi balls okay beginning hula First verse. First verse. Poo poo. Poo poo. Can we have words for first verse? Poo poo. Thank you. Where are you? And you. Show the beauty. Hala hala. Hello. First verse. We get a second chance. Poo poo. Poo poo. Shell shell shell. Where you stay? some work to do we got to do two verses next week so be sure to tune in for that um on saturday you can have a seat we're gonna um review hey hawaii and add a few more lines right now so this is another song that brother is does and we're gonna um cover just a couple more lines today so review of what we did last week Ikeapo means on this night ayo i am here me oi with you keiapo on this night does that look a little bit familiar? If not, go back and watch the replay from last week where we taught that. Okay, so Ike Yopo, you're going to call holo right and left. Ready? Please do with. No, I'm just going to sing it. Ready? Ike Yopo, holo right. Ike Yopo, I am here. Eyo with you. Me owe. Keiapo ua ho i kao four times. Mai o two, three, and four. Okay, the next part, he loa kahelena. This is talking about a guy who went away from Hawaii and was searching for what he wanted to do, and he realized what he really wanted to do was come back to Hawaii. So he's going to go on this long journey. From right here, you're going to Peel your hands out towards this bottom corner. Do you see how that happened? Your right hand is just going to descend, and your left hand is going to open like a book. Okay? So you're going to go this way, and then you're going to make a big scoop. Hello, Kahelena. I've never seen my Kumu use this choreography, this motion before, but it was so pretty. I loved it. Okay? So scoop. Hello, Kahelena. Yeah, she did that. And then Makiala Hele is on this difficult path. Makiala Hele. So you're going to take two turns in your path. You're going to go to the right. No, that's not where I want to go. Left. Maybe that's where I want to go. Okay. Let's try again. Peeling down and. Hello, Kahelena. Two turns. Ma ke ala hele. E huli means I'm searching. You're gonna do just like the ohe oe motion that we did for pupu o niihau, but you're gonna do it on the opposite side. E huli for a place. You're gonna just do a place motion right off of your hips. Eva hi ma on this earth. Ke yao. You're gonna make a big scoop. Okay, so let's go from e huli searching. Ehuli for a place, Iva Hima. 
K-E-O. The feet for this section are actually very simple because um, it's kaholo and then it's just kind of leaning in different directions. So you're here. Heloa kahelana long has been my journey. We're going to kaholo to the right and left. Ready, open, and sweep. Heloa kahelana ma ke ala hele. Now, ehuli, you're just going to step forward on the right foot and lean. Like, I don't know, you're on the Titanic or, I don't know, Colors of the Winds or something. Ehuli, and then lean back to make your place. Eva hima, just foot pointed. That's it. That's the whole feet. And then we get four ka'o. Ke'ao, and two, and three, and four. Okay? I know that's a lot. This is kind of a little bonus hula that we, we crammed in here. So let's try this one. This is he hava iel now up to the first four lines. And then we're going to end with poi balls. So get those poi balls ready if you're getting excited for that. Okay, here we go. All the way, first four lines. You are the wind beneath my wings. On this night, I am here with you. On this night, I have returned. Ka'o. One, two, three. Halo long has been my journey. On this difficult path, I'm searching for a place on this earth. One, two, three, four. That's it. All right, I, I know that was really quick, but if you want to practice that little section over and over, the replay of this show will be available very, very soon. As soon as we end the live, it'll be available here on Facebook, and then we'll work very hard to try and get it up on our YouTube channel by noon. By noon is our goal um, today. So if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, you can check us out subscribe, hit the bell, whatever you do on YouTube. Um, Napua Hala is what you can search up to find us. And we'll also put the link to that in the comments. Um, but yeah, be sure to check that out. If you want to practice Hey Hava Iel, just that little clip over and over and over again, you can find us right there on YouTube. Okay, last but not least, we have Hoki Hoki. I told you, come on, come on, boy balls. You're ready? Okay, here we go. Hoki Hoki, of course, is not a Hawaiian dance. It is from New Zealand. Uh, it is from our cousins in Aotearoa. Hoki but we hoki always love to end with Hoki Hoki. We almost went to Christmas there. Okay. Thank you, folks, for being with us and for enjoying another Ohana Hula. Don't forget the replay will be available. So if you didn't get enough practice on Pupuo Niihau or Hei Hawaiiau, you know where to find us. If not, on our replay or on YouTube, right back here again on Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Hawaiian Standard Time and Saturdays at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Can't catch a break. Until next time, keep practicing, enjoy, and ahui ho.